I'm so glad Jake wasn't the murderer. And so am I. Even though I was terribly upset by what happened, I must confess I felt relief when I thought this whole nightmare could be over. Oh, but the people who died deserve some justice. Well, we all need peace of mind. It's frightening working at a place where people are dropping like flies. And how my poor son blames himself for everything. He thinks if he hadn't written that book, none of this would ever have happened. Mm. Boy, Kevin took a lot of heat for that. That must be hard for you. To see your child in pain. That's why I've been so frantic to try and help find the killer. I even created a chart. Quite an elaborate affair. It, it collated every possible suspect with every possible motive. The, the police were quite interested. Wow. What well, did it help? They completely misread it. They, they believed it implicated my son. They, they, they even suspected me. Wow, and I'm sorry. Well, it was ridiculous. The chart clearly demonstrated that the distribution was skewed. I mean, I mean to say that someone was trying to frame my son, and, and that someone certainly wasn't I. Well, of course not. You were with me the night Jake was hung. I mean, you couldn't be the killer. You're right. You're my alibi. A lovely alibi. Well, this is one slaying they can't pin on me. You're my alibi. I wonder if that could be the basis for a lasting friendship. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I'm the only one who has the right to be angry tonight. I lost the quarter million. Yeah, well, I would trade that for Scott any day. In fact, I wish he and I were celebrating Serena's full recovery. Okay. okay. Look, any more of this underwhelming charm and I'm out of here. All right, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Actually, you know, you have been putting on a really good face, even though you lost the award. Well, uh -huh. genuinely happy for you. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean it. Look, you're a really good surgeon. And you're the hardest worker I've ever met. You're a good friend, Chris. Uh-oh. There goes my reputation. No, I'm serious. No, listen to me. You have never judged me. Not when the affair with Devlin became public. Not when Lucy Coe told the whole world I was a hooker. You teased me. But you never judged me. I think you're a remarkable woman. Scott is nuts not to stand by you. Someone missing out. That's exactly what I needed to hear. What I need is a strong drink. Yeah. Why do you say we head back to the hacienda? Okay. Yeah, but let's take a cab. Neither one of us should be driving right now. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention the fact that neither of us have wheels either. Oh yeah. Yours was blown to bits, and I, well, I had to get mine back. We make quite a pair, don't we? pleasure. You know what they say, once you have found a really wonderful dancing partner, you should never change. Uh-huh. Meaning? I made that up. I'm, I'm no good at beating around the bush. Mary, I would like very much if you would be my steady. Hector? Oh, that that's so flattering. But I'm, I, I'm at a point in my life where I'm happy being alone. Well, how can that be? Well, I was married once to a man who I loved dearly, but who was difficult as hell. So I enjoy the peace I have now. Uh, relationships are just too much trouble. Well, where is Victor if he's not in Serena's room? Uh, well, the way this day has been going, probably with Evie. Lucy. That was a congratulatory hug. Okay. I know. Fine. It's just, I am so sick and tired of being the only person who is able to see Eve for who she really is. Although, I have to admit, Scott is beginning to think that she can't be completely trusted. 
You should listen to yourself sometime. You know, you are obsessed with Scott's life. No, I am not. I am his friend and I have to look out for him. No, you don't. You want to. There's a difference. We're getting married in two weeks. How about a little focus on that? I am focusing on that. I just got off the payphone with Felicia. Now, listen, the, the caterer's gone ahead with the canapes, canapes, you know, those yummy little thingies. Yeah, you have one eye focused on the wedding, and the rest of you is fixated on Scott and Eve. Why is it that all we seem to do anymore is argue about them? I don't know. You are the gifted psychiatrist. Why don't you tell me? I just did. It's well beyond friendship, Lucy, and I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with dating. I, I've met some nice men and had laughs, and but I'm just not interested in anything more. Don't you ever miss the comfort of, of simply knowing someone's there? Fights over who left the car window. Well, midnight snuggles. Ha <laughs> ha! Struggling for your share of the blanket. All right, Mary. I can see you've been hurt, and as have I. But surely one could still try again. Oh, perhaps, but I'm not afraid of being alone. And I don't want to get into a relationship for the wrong reasons. Pretty pathetic that a woman who just won 50,000 bucks couldn't cough up seven bucks for a cab ride, huh? Somehow I knew I'd end up paying tonight. <laughs> hey, I broke a nail fishing around in the cushions for change for you. Yeah, well, the cabbie was so impressed with his 50 cent tip, too. So exhausted. Mm. This has been a long, horrible day. Yeah. Poor baby. You know, I think that uh, all this being nice has finally taken its toll on you. <laughs> well, wasn't that hard? <sighs> Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, sorry. I slipped. Felt good. Don't apologize. You could wait forever for Baldwin to forgive you. Is he worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess the only question now is, uh, does he think you're worth it? If you're lucky, love is worth the work. Oh, Mary, does it have to be work? Life is so short. Couldn't it just be fun? Boy, you really believe in throwing caution to the wind. Going where the wind may take you can be quite a ride. But it's not the same if no one's there to share it with you. God, a present. Oh, that's so sweet. The charm is significant of the first time I was, was nice to you. I love it. Thank you. How do I look? Fresh as a daisy. Are you getting fresh with me? I'm always thinking about you. I wonder if you can tell these things I'm feeling inside me. I keep them all to myself. I'm scared to show my truth. Don't wanna 